How are you guys doing and how do you guys like the new setup? We're a little bit wider today, but that's not what we're gonna be talking about. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a new camera that Canon is actually planning to release in May. All that information right after the intro. And welcome back to the channel. My name is Gaston. I'm a photographer from Miami, Florida. I do gear reviews, tutorials, and behind the scenes. So if you like the content that you see around my channel, hit the subscribe button, also the notifications, so you can be notified every time one of my videos goes up. Now, Canon had had a very busy year, and apparently they're about to announce another camera, and that is gonna happen actually in May. We're talking about the Canon R6, a camera that is supposed to be a stripped down version of the R5. Now. There's been rumors that this camera is going to be kind of like a mini 1DX Mark III because it actually features the 20 megapixel sensors. However, it is not going to be the same sensor. So if you thought that you were getting a 1DX Mark III for the price of an R6, then you were completely wrong. All right, so what does it mean, a stripped down version from the R5? Well, exactly means that. It's going to have less feature than the R5. One of the things that we're not gonna see here is 8K recording right off the bat. Also, some of the 4K functionalities are not gonna be here. And let me actually start talking about some of the features. Now, number one, this camera is going to feature a CMOS sensor of 20 megapixel. Now, for a camera to have a 20 megapixel, being a camera that's a stripped down version of the R5, makes a lot of sense because this camera may be also a great sport photography camera camera on a budget. Now, one of the things that this camera is going to do just like the R5 is it's going to allow you to shoot 20 frames per second when using the electronic shutter and also 12 frames per second when using the mechanical shutter. The next feature that we're going to have in this camera is this camera is also going to feature the newly designed in-body image stabilization for the EOS R5. Now, this version, we don't know if it's gonna work in tandem with the stabilization of the lenses like the R5 can do, but definitely we're gonna have sensor image stabilized right here. We may also have electronic image stabilization that may be able to be combined with the sensor stabilization. Now, Canon for the first time is gonna be introducing in-body image stabilization in the R5, and we're gonna see it potentially on every single camera coming down the line. So the R6 is gonna be no exception, and we're pretty excited about this camera because this can be actually a really good option for vloggers and people alike, and we're gonna be talking about that in just a moment. Now, 4K video recording in this camera is gonna shoot up to 60 frames per second. Now, we're not getting the 120, but 60 frames per second actually is pretty good for a camera that's gonna be a little bit lower in price than the R5. Now, Remember, the EOS R actually struggle at 4K with a 1.7 crop, and the rumors are that this camera is gonna have 4K video up to 60 frames per second with no crop internally and externally. Now, that is pretty good news to me. Now, the other great news is that this camera is gonna be able to do all 4K modes in autofocus. So, you're gonna get face tracking detection, we are assuming that we're gonna have also in this camera human and animal eye out of focus, so that is pretty good news, knowing that the EOS R was struggling in this department. Now, this is a given, but the camera is going to shoot full HD up to 120 frames per second. Now, if you ask me, the full HD at 120 frames per second from Canon is actually one of the best full HD that I've actually experienced. And I'm a Sony shooter, and when comparing with a Sony full HD, it's pretty good. Now, the other rumor is that we may be also able to use uh, full autofocus when shooting full HD up to 120 frames per second. So that's really good to have. And if the camera is capable of that, it's going to be a great buy. Now, Canon had decided to roll out with dual car slide. They don't want to hear it from the industry anymore. So this car is going to have Two slots, most likely are gonna be two SD cards. Remember, this camera is gonna be a lower budget version of the R5, and it's gonna feature a sensor at 20 megapixels. So having a CF Express car probably makes not a lot of sense on a budget-friendly camera. So my take is two SD. Now, because this camera is gonna be geared towards content creator, it is going to have some sort of articulated screen. Now, one of the rumors confirms that the camera is not gonna have that top-down screen, kind of like the M5. Remember that screen that you flip down, and then the moment you put actually a Gorilla Pod or something similar, you actually block it with your hand or the tripod. Now, they have confirmed that that's not gonna be the type of screen we're gonna go with this camera. Now, if it flips up, actually brings another problem because the moment you put a microphone or a lavalier uh, receiver there, you are gonna have the same problem. You know, you're gonna be obstructing the view by the microphone. Now, 
flip into the side, kind of like the EOS R, makes a lot of sense, and we hope that they're gonna go with that one. So that's all we know about the screen. Now, knowing that the camera is gonna be a stripped down version from the R5, it makes a lot of sense to expect lower resolution when it comes to screen and EVS. Now, you are not gonna be happy with this rumor right here because it talks about the quality build of this camera being much lower than the R5. And the R5 has a build quality that is gonna be similar to the EOS R, which is plastic yet feels really premium. Now, lower quality means that they may use actually lower plastics or polymer, and it may not have all that rubbery and texture uh, that makes the camera feel really high end when it comes to the R5 or uh, the EOS R. Well, the R5 is not even out, but the R5 at least. So that's all we know, and I guess it's expected on a camera that's gonna be way cheaper. Battery life, let's talk about battery life, because this camera is said to have also a new battery. Now, we don't know if it's gonna be the same battery as the R5, or it's going to be kind of like a lower battery, kind of like the M5, which it was a weaker battery. Now, I wish they would have left the same Canon battery that we have in the uh, EOS R, which is a battery that a lot of people have laying around, including myself. I have over 20 of those batteries, but hopefully it's gonna be a battery that's gonna give us more life and something just like the EOS R5 is going to have. We will have to wait and see. I actually like the motion blur of the paper. Anyway, so guys, guess when this camera is launching? Navoru, when do you think this camera is gonna launch? August. No, this camera is set to be launching in June. So the rumor guys said that this camera is gonna launch in June. Now, hold on for a second right here because a few months ago, Canon was actually uh, saying that they were struggling with some of the factories being shut down due to the coronavirus. Now, if they are gonna launch this camera in, in June, right? Launch, because this camera is gonna be announced in May. That means that they have covered a lot of ground and chances are that they also have covered a lot of ground with the R5. So. Pretty exciting times to be a Canon user. Uh, I'm not a Canon user, actually I'm more of a Sony user, but I have a lot of Canon glass. So I'm pretty excited about this camera because this could be actually the perfect vlogging camera and content creation B. So yes, Canon, you've been very, very busy. And all those people that were talking bad about you, oh boy, they're gonna have to swallow their words. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like the content on this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. And until then, see you later.